Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're doing April favorites today. I'm gonna to be talking about all of my favorite products. And this month, I actually have a lot of skincare, hair care, and of course, some makeup products. So we're gonna get started with the most obvious, Fenty Beauty, this new product that's basically a glow glow booster, shimmer lotion, whatever you want to call it. So this is the Body Lava Body Luminizer in the shade Who Needs Clothes. I really wanted to try the brown sugar shade, but as I was making my Sephora order, like before I had time to check out, it got sold out, but I did order it on FentyBeauty.com, so hopefully it comes soon. But I do like this shade a lot as well. Um, this is a bit more of a lighter tone, and when you blend it into your skin, it has almost a gel consistency. It feels kind of like a lip gloss for your body, it definitely has like some grit to it, some stickiness, but because of that, it stays on really, really well. Like whenever I apply this, it will stay on for a good long while. And I feel like other body luminizers or body lotions with shimmer, they tend to fade, but because this one has more of a sticky gel type formula, it does stay on my um, body a little bit longer. Like even today, I've had this on for quite a while now because I was changing out my lip color because I was like, I don't know, I was having problems with my lip color, so I was changing out like six, five or six times, and through that process, I'm still pretty glowy. So I really like this, and I think that it's gonna be a great product to have around for the summertime. Um, whenever my shoulders are showing, I like to put it on like my decollete, is it, is that how I say it? I always get it wrong, decolletage or decollete? Okay, decolletage, I had to ask my consultant. This foundation, this is from Lancome, and it's the Tawny Doll Ultra Wear Foundation. This is, such a good full coverage foundation. So I've been trying this out for actually quite a while now, and I really like to try foundations for a while before I talk about them, but I have to say that I love this foundation because it just makes your skin almost look like a doll's skin because it is that nice full coverage wear full coverage look. It smooths everything out. It just makes your skin look flawless and it wears really nicely throughout the day. So even at you know 6 p.m., 7 p.m. when I've had my makeup on all day long, um, people will still come up to me and give me compliments on my foundation and ask me what I'm wearing. And this month it has definitely predominantly been this. So I wear the shade 410 Bisque W. I do recommend trying out some shades, um, maybe swatching them in stores or something beforehand because they do tend to oxidize a little bit because they do have SPF. So it has SPF 15 in it. But once you find your right shade, you're gonna love this foundation because of the wear time and just how perfected it makes your foundation look or your skin look, I should say. When you apply it, it has this really nice thicker cream formula that just smooths over everything in your skin. So it does have a really, really nice wear, very comfortable to wear. It doesn't feel too crazy on the skin. It definitely has more of a matte finish than most of the other foundations that I've talked about recently, but I like that, especially leading into summer because I feel like when my skin starts to feel more oily, I tend to go with more mattifying foundations, especially some that um, actually stay on my skin really well. So really been liking this for the past like six weeks or so. And let me see what other makeup products I have. Um, I went back to Benefit Cabral. So this is obviously not like a new launch by any means, but this is a brow product that I have gone back to using again. So I do wear the shade number four. And if you haven't tried this out, it's actually a brow pomade. The brush is actually in the top of the product. And when you unscrew the product, you can just go ahead and dab it in, apply it to your brows. What I really like about this is that it doesn't tend to make my brows look too cakey. Sometimes pomades can be a little thick and like they just, they give me a little bit of Chewbacca brows, you know what I'm trying to say? But um, this one, uh, I usually put like Duraline in it, Inglot Duraline, and it'll thin it out and even if it's like a little bit on the dry side, it makes it creamy again so that I can continue to use it. And I just love the way that it's easy to get my brows to look the way that I want them to look. That's pretty much the bottom line of it. Um, I feel like lately I've been doing more of a natural brow, you know what I'm trying to say? Just kind of feathering it out. And this product is really nice for that. Plus I know that it's gonna stay on no matter what because it is a pomade rather than a pencil that tends to um, move around a little bit more. This is a very new product to me. You guys saw me try this out for the first time inside of my full face of first impressions that I uploaded, but I have to say that I love it right off the bat. And um, I do wanna let you guys know that like obviously I haven't use it the entire month because 
I just tried out in my full face of first impressions, but I felt like I couldn't not include it because it's such a beautiful palette. And since using it, I have been using it every, or since trying it, I'm sorry. Since trying it, I have been using it every single day because I love it so much. So this is the Too Faced Natural Matte Eyeshadow Palette. This is what it looks like on the inside. I feel like it's such a beautiful palette for everyday use because you do get some really pretty neutral tones, but there's still some variety in here. So what I've been doing most of the time when I've been using this palette is actually this exact look, which is the exact look that I created in the full face of first impression. So it's kind of like a smoky eye, but I love the shade Risky Biz for um, creating that purple tone smoky eye and they're very very pigmented as well i really like the pigmentation they're super blendable too and just overall i feel like the quality of this palette is on point you know what i'm trying to say it's there it's ready to go it's a perfect everyday palette i feel like Anybody and everybody could um, make a good use out of this palette, whether you're a beginner, whether you're advanced, whether you're a professional makeup artist, I feel like this palette could be used by anybody. I'm telling you guys, this will change your life as soon as you try it. So this is the Caudalie Paris um, Grape Water. Oh my God, this is the coolest thing I've ever used. So this is a hydration mist, but it's like an aerosol can, so it's like, oh. It just feels so luxurious, honestly. You do a little quick mist, you're ready to go, you set your makeup in place. It is a really, really nice product. I actually really like including this inside of my skincare routine, so after I apply my toner, I'll do a little spritz of this, and it just makes my skin feel hydrated and clean and plump. Honestly, it's a little bit of a miracle water. I'm gonna put it that way. It actually has soothing qualities because of the grapes that are inside of it. So when you apply it, like if you have any sorts of rash or skin irritation, this actually helps to heal that and keep the skin hydrated inside of the process. So, or in the process. <laughs> It's been a long day. <laughs> but yeah, I really like the mist because A, it feels really good. B, it keeps my skin super duper hydrated and C, it has those healing properties. So it is doing a lot of good stuff for your skin and I really, 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 really have been loving this. So other than that, I have a few more skincare items. Um, this mask is from Summer Fridays and it's the Jet Lag Mask. I like this a lot as well because it's different than anything I've seen before actually. So what this is is a mask um, that you apply on your skin, it almost looks like a lotion when you're applying it, but as you apply it, it just works to hydrate the skin and almost revitalize the skin and it takes away any kind of puffiness that I have. So if I wake up in the morning, apply some of this to my skin and rub it in. It does. It really looks like a lotion actually, um, but you can rub it in and let it sit on your skin for like 10 or 15 minutes. Once you finish the mask, it just makes your skin look so plump, hydrated, fresh. That's like some good words that I would use to describe it. I do like that you don't have to wash it off, so if you were going to use it like on a plane or maybe at night and you know, you're know you already in bed and you don't wanna get up again to wash your face, you don't have to necessarily wash it off, so I feel like that's good for the lazy people of the world like me, um, but the one thing that I will say is if you don't wash it off before makeup, sometimes when you're applying your foundation or BB creams and stuff, um, you'll get little rolls of the mask that's like dried mask. I know that's kind of weird, but I just wanted to put that out there for you guys. If you um, wanna try it out, just be careful not to leave it on your skin right before you're about to apply uh, Color Cosmetics. But other than that, it's an amazing product. It really does make my skin feel um, overall just hydrated, good depuffed, stuff like that. So I really do like it and I've been liking it for a while actually. I almost, almost was gonna put in my ride or die skincare favorites because um, I had been trying it for that long but I was like, you know what, no. It's not ride or die yet because I still gotta try it out for a little bit longer. But now that I've been using it for, I don't know, like quite a while, I would say maybe four to six weeks, ever since it pretty much launched, I can say that it might be a ride or die product after this, you know? Takes a little bit of a while to like get to that level for me. These are like favorites, these are like monthly favorites and then ride or dies are like cream of the crop, you know what I'm trying to say? So it takes a little while to get up to speed for me. But another product that I think honestly might become a ride or die product for me is this toner from Ole Henriksen, or I'm sorry, Ula Henriksen. I just learned that 
the correct pronunciation is actually Ula Henriksen. But anyways, so Ula Henriksen Balancing Forest Oil Control Toner. This is an amazing toner because it really makes your skin feel fresh. It definitely removes any sort of dirt or oil that's left in the pores, but it never makes my skin feel dry. And that's something that I personally don't love about traditional toners is that it tends to make my skin really, really dry, but this one never does that. And this one actually has like some interesting ingredients that I feel really help my skin. One of them being AHAs in there, which is basically a chemical exfoliant. So as you're applying it to your face, as you're toning your face, you're also um, kind of exfoliating the dead skin cells off the top surface layer. So that's why it makes your skin look so fresh, so toned but never dry. It's a really, really great product. Highly recommend trying it out if you haven't already because it has become sort of like a staple inside of my skincare routine and I really, really enjoy it, like I said <laughs> five times already. But another um, little skincare product that I tried out early on this month is the In Between Instant Glowing Cream for Makeup Ready Skin. So this is a moisturizer, but it is a very, very, lightweight moisturizer, which is what I live for, it's what I love. And especially before makeup, I feel like the lighter weight the better because you're already gonna be applying so many layers of product onto the face that you wanna keep your skincare more on the light side. But this is a really cool product because it actually gives you some radiance when you apply it. So once you apply it to your skin, you can see that slight bit of shine that it gives to your skin. I do feel like my makeup applies really nicely on top of this moisturizer because it has that radiance, but also also because it's very lightweight and it just sinks into the skin really, really nice and easily. So I've been really liking this. It is a um, Korean beauty makeup product or skincare product, I should say. So I feel like K-Beauty skincare is always really nice and lightweight. I almost forgot to talk about my lashes that I've been loving this month. So I don't have them in here actually because I have them on my face. <laughs> but these are the Lana number no. 10s from Huda Beauty. I like these a lot. I wish I had more than one pair so that I could show you what they look like in the box, but unfortunately I don't. And that's gonna have to change because I'm gonna have to stock up because I like them so much. But I really like the way that they're long and fluttery, but they're not actually that full. So I feel like when I've been doing smoky eyes lately, I've been liking to wear these Lana number no. 10s because it just kind of completes the look and it still lets your eyeshadow show through because they aren't so voluminous, you know what I'm trying to say? The one thing about Huda Beauty lashes that I will say is that um, I find them slightly harder to wear on my eyes for some reason, and I don't know if it's my eye shape or if it's the thickness of the band maybe, but they always tend to pop off on the inner corner for me. What I've done to help that is just make sure to apply a lot of glue, not a lot, but you know, a good amount of glue onto that inner corner. Let the lashes sit for about 30 seconds to one minute, and then when the lashes are tacky, go ahead and apply, and then when you're applying that inner corner, almost hold it in place Place with your tweezers or with your fingers or with your lash applicator, whatever you're using to apply the lashes and let it sit there um, so that the lashes don't move in and out of place. And I have found that that helps with trying to keep the lashes on and prevent that inner corner from coming up. So hopefully that helps you guys if you do have a similar problem, but we're gonna move on to hair products because I actually have like a lot of hair products, which is again, interesting because I normally like don't vibe with hair that well. Like I kind of just like throw it up or, you know, I, it's always up in a ponytail for the most part, which it is today, but it's a messy pony, so whatever. <laughs> um, but one thing that I really wanted to talk about is the Way Dry Texture Foam. This is a really cool product to me because it is actually a foam. Ah, so cute, not cute, cool cute. Who says a foam is cute? Anyways, but it's a foam and you kind of rub it into your fingers. When you rub it through your ends, it just creates a lot of like beachy texture that I feel like is going to be so in for the summertime. So I've really been liking this product and I feel like it's honestly pretty lightweight because it does have that foam texture to it and it's invisible. It doesn't have a powdery residue. It's not going to leave your hair, you know, looking white or having that ashy tone to it. It's a really, really nice product and I feel like the texture that it gives looks really nice because it's lightweight, it's airy. That's a good word, airy, beachy. 
that's what I love about this. Um, I have a couple other products, but I also have an actual curling wand. <laughs> this is from Dry Bar, and it's a little curling wand, but I like it because it actually tapers from smaller to larger. So over here, when you're more at the root of the hair, um, you're gonna get you know tighter curls, but as you go further out and get to the ends of the hair, you actually start to create more like waves, like beachy waves. So what I like about that is that it gives you the volume of that smaller curl, but as it goes down, it creates more, you know, loose waves. It's a really cool um, curling iron, honestly, and it's super duper easy to use. Obviously, you just wrap the hair around and kind of let it sit. I let maybe an inch of hair at the bottom out so that it has that very undone look because I don't want it to look too curled. So, yeah, not much else to say. It hasn't really damaged my hair too much, luckily. But yeah, it's pretty nice. We got a volumizing dry shampoo by Big Sexy Hair. Um, this is the best dry shampoo I've ever used in my life. It is, you know, your typical aerosol can. It is so good, you guys, though, because when you put into your hair at the roots, you know, you kind of go like this, it actually, absorbs all of the oil and most dry shampoos in my opinion don't um, that's why a lot of times i've always used like powder dry shampoos or powder texturizing products like stuff like that but with this volumizing dry shampoo there's two different kinds there's a dry shampoo which is still good um, and then this one which is the volumizing dry shampoo you want to go for the volumizing dry shampoo because it is going to take your hair from like here to like 80s level you know like tons of volume tons of texture in there it's so good and to the extent where like even on like day three four five if I don't have time to wash my hair I can spray a little bit of this in and know that my hair is gonna look clean and fine and voluminous um, I don't know how they do it but I feel like it absorbs the oil so well that it actually creates this lightweight like poofiness to my hair especially on top and it's great for if you want to do updos like today where you do want that texture and a little bit of volume you don't want your hair to look so flat I'll spray a little bit of this into the roots massage it with my fingertips and then I'm good to go way hair care rose hair and body oil so this is a body or Sorry, this is an oil that you can use on your hair or your body. I personally use it mostly for my hair, but what I like about it is it's so lightweight. Like, it almost feels like a water when you're putting it in your hands, but it really does hydrate the skin. It leaves, or I'm sorry, not the skin, the hair. It hydrates the hair and it leaves a really, really like healthy glow, especially if you have your hair down um, or more of like a sleek, straight look. It hydrates the hair, but it never feels weighed down at all because it has that very, 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 very lightweight texture. Like if you guys see this in stores anywhere, um, in Sephora's, then you should definitely, um, test it out on your fingertips because you'll see what I'm talking about. It just has such a watery, lightweight texture, but again, it does definitely give you that hydration that you're looking for, and especially if you do use a lot of heat styling and stuff like that, it's really important to put serums or oils on the ends of your hair. So that's what I've been using this for, and I feel like it just overall um, leaves my hair looking very healthy, so I really like that. But that is it for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed my April favorites. Comment down below if you guys guys have been loving anything this month because you guys know I want to hear about it and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hello. So obviously this is not the same day as the day that I filmed my favorites video. It is actually the day that I'm editing it but I wanted to jump in really quickly and announce the giveaway winner from my last giveaway and also thank you guys for 800,000 subscribers with another giveaway. So the last giveaway winner is Alexis Nicole. Congratulations. You won the Fenty Beauty um, fairy bomb. And then for today's giveaway, again, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 800,000 subscribers. Like, it's pretty crazy. Honestly, it's pretty crazy. So again, just want to say thank you guys and 
celebrate with a little giveaway. So let me show you guys the prizes. For my 800,000 subscriber giveaway, I'm going to be giving away a $500 gift card to Windsor, as well as a bunch of makeup products. So we have the Too Faced Love Flush Blushes, um, Too Faced Melted Matte Lipsticks, the Mar Mary Luminizer, the Bo oh, what am I even saying? The Mary Luminizer from the Balm Highlighter. You guys know I love this one. Um, Sigma Warm Neutrals Volume 2 Eyeshadow Palette, the Too Faced White Peach Eyeshadow Palette, this Pixie Beauty Times Dolce Candy um, uh, Lip Palette, and then also a Wanted Eyeshadow Palette from NARS Cosmetics, the brand new MAC and Nico Panda Lip Glass, and we have some iPhone accessories. So this can work for iPhone 6, 6S, 7, or 8. So got a good variety in there. And then up here we have some hangover products from Too Faced. So the um, setting spray and then the primer. And of course another um, iPhone accessory. And this guy right here, which is some Lily Lashes. Sephora times Lily Lashes. So yeah, those are the giveaway prizes for today's giveaway. And all you have to do to enter is make sure that you're subscribed to this channel right here. Make sure you're subscribed to to my vlogging channel and also comment down below telling me how long you've been watching my channel. So like, have you been with me for a couple years? Just recently, are you a new subscriber? Let me know because I don't know, I just feel like that's interesting and I just wanna again say thank you guys so much for all the support and for subscribing and taking the time to watch my videos because it really, really means the world to me and that is going to be it for this video. Hope you guys loved it and all, as always, the giveaway rules will be down in the description box as well as some, um, additional entries like extra entries things that you could do for extra entries into the contest slash giveaway and that is going to be it for me i will see you guys next time bye